We get to control the mech. And honestly, best part is just to dash through, I find. Oh look, a chest I can't get. Which means I could have gotten that chest if I knew where to find it! Okay. Thank you. Navigating this thing I forgot was a little bit difficult. That. No, thank you. Alright. At least this is the fun part of the stage. And once again, I get a bit of a Mischief Maker's vibe from it. Alright. Reach our checkpoint. Did we get another barrier? I think so. Alright. Next boss fight! And that didn't do anything. Okay, that was supposed to do something. I shouldn't have been able to go on his head. I like doing this shot better. It keeps the distance. But this does more damage, so you might just want to take a beating, that's all. Oh, that did a good amount of damage! Nice! Give that a chance to recharge and we'll do that again! And just take him out. I'm on Serpentine. This can't be! With the power of syntax, I should be invincible! Hmm. Okay. Nice try. Yeah, uh, the stage has its up and downs, but those vines are the worst part. And just the amount of chaos. Poor kid. You guys are jerks! <laughs> oh, that poor that. kid. That was a little mean. Was kidnapping Mayor Zhao and having a hand in Shang Tu's downfall not also a little mean? I'm just glad that's over with. Lilac, about what Serpentine said. It's okay. You don't have to say anything if you don't want to. I'd trust you over Snake Man any day of the week. And when you're ready to talk, I'll be here. Aww. Now, let's go find Carol. Okay! And there we have that stage. Oh boy, what a handful. Reports of giant robots in the vicinity are false. Lies designed to ruin your perfect perusing and holiday experience. Please continue to enjoy your stay, knowing that you are safe from being crushed underfoot by giant metal monstrosities. Well, at least they're doing their job. Hello. I know what to do when there's a forest fire. Just stop, drop, and roll. <laughs> what was that? Bulk interruptions. <laughs> you have anything to do? Nope, same thing. Okay. Anyone else have anything new? You have something new. Your skills are most most formidable, Kai Bigong. Taking down one giant robot followed by stealing another? Impressive. I was not expecting to encounter nearly the number of explosions that I did today. Very exhilarating. Oh, more to say. Kamusta. Be careful when entering our forest. The monsters there are controlled by dark spirits called Teeks. Mind you, the most dangerous thing in the forest right now appear to be robots, and they're scaring away all the game. 
Oh, so he's a hunter of the forest. Oh, one of the guards has something new to say. Look, ever since we got invaded by an alien warmonger from space, things have been weird, but never giant robots weird. And what's that General Serpentine out there? I thought we drove him off this planet along with his boss. Oh, you have something new. You know what the biggest weakness of giant robots is? Broadswords! You're not gonna let that go. Both in terms of them getting sliced up like butter, and also that they don't use broadswords themselves! Okay. Ah, uh, nothing new there. Oh, she has something new. Giant robots? Reminds me of a Tarsier that used to follow me around like a, a tail. Great at building machines, and not so great at talking to people. Tar- Oh, the so she knows. Ah! I think he wanted to be friends, but whenever I asked him what his name was, he just screamed. Weird kid. Yeah, that is totally ah. Giant robots? In our jungle? Well, given the leftovers from that alien invasion a few years back, chances were high to extremely high, but still. I grabbed the twins for a throwdown, but by the time I got there, all the action had dried up. Figures. <laughs> and you have something new? Did you see that throwdown between those giant robots? They nearly stomped my ube! Oh, that would have been dangerous. And here I thought getting water and proper sunlight would be my biggest worries. Keep in mind, this is the guy that apparently took down a battleship on his own. <laughs> Don't mess with him. Alright, anyone else to talk to while we're here? Doesn't look it. Alright. Let's see if Spade has anything new. Oh, Lilac does. Syntax and Pongu do have a lot in common, don't they? I wonder who built them. Oh, speaking of Syntax, there she is. I think I got a headache from all that constant shrill shouting. Ugh. Seriously, the matchup was the absolute worst. At least we got Syntax out of the whole ordeal. That's one vul valuable piece of sweet alien tech right there. And Mila? Snake Man is a mean man. He just, he needs to just go back in outer space and leave us alone. <laughs> I'm gonna leave that be for now. Alright. Why don't we move on to our next mission? Next up? Okay, this one's got an interesting gimmick. Echoes of the Dragon War. The volcanic activity on the island is reaching a critical juncture. We have to act immediately, or there won't be a Perusa left. Oh, oh! We could blow a hole in the side of the volcano! Then all that lava will flap, flap into the ocean and nobody gets turned into charcoal! Okay, one, you're dark. <laughs> Two, you want to stop a volcano by blowing it up? She's not wrong. That lava is coming out one way or another, so we might as well do it in a way that's safe. Well, safe-ish. For this plan to succeed, we must create a powerful explosion. Mila. That explosive color-changing potion of yours. <clears throat> I don't suppose you could create a more potent version. I think so. I just need a few... ingredients first. We can probably find them around the island. I'll make a list. Then it looks like we're going on a scavenger hunt. So the chemical compound to change her clothes color ends up being the thing that's gonna... <laughs> save us from a volcano. I love that. Also, I love that Snake calls out that she has a dark personality for being such an innocent kid. Alright, off to the Ancestral Forge. I'll call Zhao when we're ready. He can help us reach the peak. A full-scale eruption would be disastrous. Safe winds. Alright, let's head on in. So this is going to be a very interesting level. Starting off a little differently than I remember. I like this though. Alright, you. I hate this thing. There. That took out the face. And now we're going down. 
I just want to see if there's anything above first. Doesn't look good. All right. And I keep shifting myself away from the microphone. I don't know why. I can never sit still when I'm recording. This is actually a really nifty stage, though. Some old ruins, by the looks of it. A key. And the lock. Interesting. Alright. So this looks like some ancient ruins, and it's... Everyone, I'm sending you a visual. Come in. Can anyone read me? Huh. Useless. Looks like I'm on my own again. The echo effect is new. I am so glad I waited to play this until some updates came out. Alright, I'm going left first. And we're getting some interesting mechanics taught to us. Alright. Time for the first section of this level. Pistons. Take those things out. I don't remember them being here. Okay. So, the entry point to each of these actually teaches us the gimmick of the section, which is very nice. And the atmosphere is so good. Okay. Lighting's different too. I can kind of barely see what I'm on my screen, but it looks like the recording's coming out clear. That's good. Okay. So I'm gonna have to find a key. It's right here. Gives us a quick trip back. It looks like a lot of ancient technology is left behind here. Two pathways. You. It's to the left. I always like to check the left first. Okay. Alright, what do we got? What do we got? A chest. Ooh, that's handy. And a beacon. Huh. Alright. Guess we're checking our next route. Going this way. That is so nifty. Call. Why did it say call? Huh. That was new to me. Oh, nifty. Moving platforms. Got another lock. And it's probably a good thing I have the earth barrier for that. I'm uh, good health wise. Oh, I kind of want that. The more of those you can collect, the better. The less of gems you have to spend to synthesize gold gems. Alright. Good lock. I love how mystical the music sounds here. Oh, those were bones. Those were bones. Oh, bone creature. Okay. Let's see if we back down. Oh, I think I need to stand on that. Yeah, okay. And maybe go a little higher. <laughs> Okay, and the whole lock was down here, wasn't it? Yes, okay. Alternate our perspective once more. And now these guys are coming out to play. Alright, where are we going? I feel like a mid-boss is somewhere in the area. 
Oh, no, nope, just another beacon. Okay. So this is the same energy from the shields. Green for life, yellow for earth. Which probably means we have fire and water next? Yeah. Oh, well. That's nifty. Oh, this is the new mechanic, too. We have a temperature gauge. We can only be in the heat for so long before we overheat. But you know what? Fair idea. It's also where a fire shield will probably come in handy. Okay, can't go that way just yet. Ah, something down there we can't do anything with. Thank you. I needed to get out. Okay. So, we're right here. Had to check. Okay, we're next to lava again. If we had a fire shield, that wouldn't be too much of a hassle. But we gotta be careful. Stop going after my shield, you dumbass. Okay, put that down. I'm guessing we want to go down this way, yeah. Okay. More magma. Well, there goes that shield. Oh, you little devil! Uh. Oh. Mm. <laughs> the perspective was playing tricks on my brain. Okay. Another chest. More gems. And an extra light. Yay! And there's our beacon. Hey, okay, there's us some fun left. Oh, you guys have made your way up now. Water. Okay. This is actually a very fun stage to explore. It's very puzzle based. I think I just saw a shield. And we've got sponge box. Another reference to Sonic, I believe. And that is a water type of attack. Just had to kind of explore here. And I'd love to know the engine Galaxy Trail uses because they get some really Beautiful animation work done with it. Okay. Take that out because it'll be the annoying thing. Oh, water shield. Oh, hello! What are you? An annoyance. <laughs> okay. Keep in mind of those tempera things. Got, got it. Come on. Thank you. <laughs> I can't aim. Alright. As long as the water shield remains active, I should be okay. Last thing we want to do is drown. I'm ignoring you. Just gotta remember where the lock is. I'll go this way. I have to go this way. So how do I go this way? Probably something I'm missing. A different path, maybe? Yeah, okay. Oh, I don't think I want to know what's that way just yet, so let's go up. Okay, we got another key. Thank you. Oh, hold on. I'm at full health. I didn't need that. Okay. Now we go up here. Something there. Another shield. Good. We extend the, the length of the shield. And then there was this. Was it there? Letting us get out. 
Not quite. Okay. So, there has to be a reason the water need level needs to get this high. We just gotta find it. Is it this way again? Maybe? Doesn't look it. Alright. Gotta be missing something. Where is it? We're back here. This goes all the way up now. It doesn't look like it has to do with anything here. Something lower, maybe? Or maybe a route I'm missing. Can't go that way without a key. I guess there was something I was missing. Well, let's try going through here and see what's over here. Okay. So I was supposed to come over here. Got it. Another chest. Ah, oh, there's our beacon. Just had to submerge it. Alright, what's the head of us? 